Uh, it has been cloudy. It has been dreary, but the sun's coming back out again like it did yesterday for a brief time. But more clouds are going to roll back in. Hey, at least it's not snowing like in northwestern Wisconsin and parts of uh, central Minnesota. It could always be worse. See, uh, we're just seeing those clouds and now breaking up just a little bit before more clouds roll in here. No rain, though, expected this evening or for tonight. To the graphics we go today, the main event is back off to the west. A little rain snow mix, as I just showed you in western Wisconsin and Minnesota. Tomorrow, a better chance of rain, especially by this time in the afternoon. I think the morning hours will be fine. It's the afternoon after one, two o'clock in the afternoon. Start to see some of those spotty showers becomes more widespread as we get into the evening and definitely overnight. This larger area of more uh, uh, consistent rain will move in here later tomorrow night and into the first half of Thursday. That's when we'll see our best chance for heavier rain and some thunderstorms. The severe weather stays way to the south of us. You can see that little bit of clearing out there, but it's brief as there are more clouds uh, back off to the west. So enjoy the sun for the second day in a row for like an hour or so before it sets. 49 degrees of the temperature. Southeast wind is at around 10. It is 51 in Burlington and Kenosha, 55 in Janesville, 52 in Watertown. Whitewater's 53 and mid to upper 40s just to the north. Not as cold tonight with the clouds returning and a southerly breeze eventually becoming calm. Uh, we'll keep those temperatures in the low to mid 40s. That's actually above normal for a change. And because of the warmer start, a warmer day tomorrow. There will be 60s on the map, I believe. Uh, we're going upper 50s for the most part, but 60 in Janesville, 58 in Watertown. Look for those rain showers to start moving in in the afternoon with a southeast wind at 5 to 15. Best chance of rain once again tomorrow late evening, tomorrow night, and the first half of Thursday. By Thursday afternoon, it starts to become a little bit more scattered meaning that, yes, there's still a good chance we're seeing some rain showers, but not as heavy or as persistent as they were uh, tomorrow night or into earlier on Thursday. But still for trick-or-treating, there is that chance for a few isolated showers. But by then, the heaviest of the rain should have moved off to the east. For tonight, no rain. Enjoy the sunshine for the next hour or so before things start to cloud back up with a low of 44. Then tomorrow, actually above normal for like the first time in two weeks. Rain showers by afternoon and a high of 57. Your 10 day outlook shows that warming trend to continue. We're going to get into the 60s on Thursday, 63 degrees, but it will be kind of a waste of a day with the clouds and the rain. At least trick or treating won't be cold. 53 with a few isolated showers on Friday, sunshine for the weekend and a highs near 50 and upper 40s to lower 50s all of next week. Still a chance of rain Monday night at Lambeau. Yeah. 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 <laughs> God, thanks.